Welcome to the BCN 3D Epsilon Configuration Assistant. The first step will be installing the printing surface. In order to install the printing surface, first make sure that the calibration square ends on the back side. Then, slightly tilt it and insert it in the back clips. Make sure that it's in all the way. Then lower the printing surface and fix it with the side clips. It is very important to make sure that the printing surface is correctly centered and touching the back clips. Note that it is normal to have a gap between the printing surface and the front flanges. The clips should always be fully closed in order to avoid collisions with other components of the printer. It's very important to always place the glass in the same orientation. You can mark the top of the printing surface with an adhesive. Then, choose your preferred language from the list and press continue. In order to register your printer, you have to connect it to the internet. You can connect your BCN 3D Epsilon by Ethernet cable or using the Wi-Fi dongle, both of which you will find in the toolkit. For a fast and reliable connection, connect the Ethernet cable and the printer will connect to your network automatically. If you do not have an Ethernet port available nearby, you can use the Wi-Fi dongle. Once it is connected, you will be able to select your network and type the password to connect. Once it is connected, press continue. The next step will be registering your printer. With the BCN 3D Cloud, you will be able to use your printer regardless of your location. In order to register your BCN 3D Epsilon, scan the QR code or copy the website's URL appearing on the screen. Fill out the registration form and click on register your printer. The printer will automatically stay connected to your personal BCN 3D Cloud account. In order to load the filament into your printer, start by installing the spool holders on the screen. Select the extruder and the material you are loading in and wait until the hotend reaches the indicated temperature for the selected material. Open the spool and cut the end of the filament at a 45 degree angle. Install the spool in the correct position and insert the filament into the filament entry hole. Keep pushing the filament in. You will feel resistance as it passes through the filament runout sensor, which allows the printer to detect whenever it runs out of material. As soon as the filament runout sensor detects the filament, the extruder will be activated. Continue pushing the filament until you feel it starts getting pulled by the extruder. In case the filament is unable to reach the motor, please cut the end of the filament again in the opposite direction and repeat the process. Once you see the filament coming out of the nozzle, press done. You can keep pressing the extrude button until you see the material coming out of the nozzle uniformly. Press done to finish the loading process. Repeat the process with the other extruder. If it is necessary, you can also load the filament from the back of the printer. This loading point was developed with the 2.3 kg spools in mind. Because of their size, they cannot be loaded from the inside of the printer. First, attach the external spool holder. This piece can be 3D printed with any type of printer, and you can find a link to download the STL file in the video description or in the printed parts article, which you can find in the BCN 3D knowledge base on our website. Then. Place the spool on the spool holder and cut the end of the filament at 45 degrees. Lastly, insert the end of the filament into the rear loading point. Now press continue to start the calibration assistant for the printing surface. Printer calibration is essential in order to obtain good quality prints. It is very important to calibrate your printer correctly, especially after transporting it. We also recommend carrying out this process frequently as part of the printer's regular maintenance. To begin, verify that the printing surface is correctly installed. First, wait until the print surface reaches the indicated temperature. Each of the hot ends will carry out a series of measurements in order to establish the print surface position. Afterwards, through the printer calibration assistant on the screen, you will be guided through the necessary adjustments needed to complete the print surface leveling. Turn the two front knobs according to the instructions appearing on the screen. And, to finish, select Redo in order for the printer to verify the adjustments made. Last but not least, 
press continue to start the Axis Calibration Assistant. The printer's calibration assistant establishes the distance between the nozzle and the print surface in the Z-axis as well as the distance between the left and right hot ends in the X and Y axes. First, wait until the hot ends reach the indicated temperature. Use a piece of paper to clean the hot end. The first calibration process will adequately adjust the nozzle height in the Z-axis, allowing the material to be extruded correctly and to adhere to the platform. It will start measuring with the left hotend. Then we'll repeat the same process with the right hotend and finally the left hotend again to compare the height between both printing heads. Next, the printer will automatically calibrate the X and Y axis allowing both hot ends to be perfectly aligned when printing in dual mode and making sure that the layers will not shift. To calibrate these axes, the printer will use the small hole in the back of the printing surface and will touch the sides with the hot end to calculate its position. First, it will do both axes with the left hot end, then both with the right hot end, and finally it will compare and redo the process until both heads are perfectly aligned. Once finished, your printer will be perfectly calibrated and ready to print.